Welcome to Reef and Pondwise. It's another fantastic day in the hobby. Guys, if you're new to the channel and you love reef keeping and pond keeping like I do, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Today's video is about how I prep my pond for a water change. And I'm going to have a little fun while I do it. So let's get started. Um, in the middle of this pond, you can see over here that uh, I have a 3,600 gallon pump that normally operates uh, about a 12 inch fountain and you can already notice that I've started my water change because of the edges of the pond I've lost probably seven to eight and a half inches of water uh, and my goal here is to go ahead and conclude a 750 gallon water change which is about 10 percent having it that my pond is 7,500 gallons now, I like to stop and smell the roses from time to time and have a little fun. So we're going to make a big splash, and I'm going to show you guys one of the things that I like to do uh, when I'm working around the pond, and that is to go ahead and, uh, and shoot my water way in the sky. Um, I'm talking about, you know, seven and a half to eight feet. So I'm going to pan up here real quick, and you're going to see the uh, rod that comes up through the... Uh, through the uh, the water there and that is about uh, water level which again it's about seven to eight inches lower than the water what the water normal water line is so uh, you can imagine how much of force is coming through a 3,600 gallon per hour pump now there's how much water I've lost so far and I am going to have a little fun in just a second but I want to show you guys that that tube there, or a rod, whatever you want to call it, um, attached to that pump will break the surface of that water and uh, just just be a, a, a lot of fun. I like to leave that on. As a matter of fact, I did leave it on not too long ago, and one of my neighbors came over and said, hey, I think you got a problem with your fountain. It's like shooting water way up uh, in the air. And I started laughing, and I said, uh, nope. I'm having a little fun. I just went in to get some tea, and uh, ironically enough, he had noticed when I was inside, so he thought he was helping me out. So, you know, oftentimes uh, perception is not reality. Um, I was just at a friend's house who has a pond, and he walked onto his pond, and there were two women that were skinny dipping in this pond. And he walked down, and the lady said, hey, what are you doing here? He goes, this is my pond. And she said, you just came down here to see us skinny dipping in your pond. And he said, nope, I came down to feed the alligators. So there you have it. Perception is not always reality. So I am going to walk over here and get ready to turn this on. And while I do that, I just want to check my fish there. It looks like, oh, it's a, it's a little piece of some debris on top of the water. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and... Just like one mass, one last look at the uh, water level, make sure everything's good. And I'm thinking that right now we're at, right at 750 gallons with about eight inches below what the normal water line uh, would be. So as uh, I get prepped here, I'm gonna walk over to the switch. Now I've got a little switch here that just allows me to bend over uh, in my garden and push this button and I'm going to push the button right now and here comes the water. It'll take just a quick second for the water to catch up to uh, the pump but there we go and it is exactly that about uh, yep, about eight and a half well close, close to nine feet in the air. So. <laughs> Now, you don't want to do this as a general rule, and you certainly don't want to do this if you're not out watching your pond. Now, I, since I'm doing a water change, don't mind uh, having this kind of fun because you can see the splash. You can see how much water and good oxygen is getting in the water column by having all this water hit the air. Uh, but if I were to leave this on for any length of time, I would have a hard way to go uh, because I'd lose too much water. But guys, if I had a pond that was three to four times the size of this, 
I would definitely have a center fountain um, and get it as high as I can go. I just love the look and I think it aesthetically uh, speaking it's just a beautiful uh, enhancement to any pond but look at the flow on that water and how the water separates at the top. So guys if you like the video and you learned something give me a thumbs up and remember anybody can build a pond but it takes somebody special to keep one and that someone special is you.